How to export a transparent background and which are the best settings you should use when exporting a video? Let's take a look. Hey everyone, Dams here from Wondershare Unicorn Builder. This will be a very quick video about the render settings, so get your video editing software open and let's do this. Now note that I'll be showing these settings in DaVinci Resolve Studio, so if you use a different tool, not everything will be the same except for the file formats, but they're exactly what we need. Now, what we need in order to export videos with a transparent background is a format that supports alpha exporting. Now, the alpha channel of a video or image file for that matter controls the transparency or opacity of a color. Zero means full transparency and 100 means full opacity. I won't list you all the variations between formats and codecs where you have the option to export alpha channel, but the most common ones are QuickTime, MOV, Uncompressed, QuickTime, GoPro, Cineform. The difference will always be in the file size and quality. Uncompressed being the most enormous, obviously, and then with each format you go basically down from there. I usually go with GoPro Cineform because of its good quality and decent file size. Like I said, the exact way of setting up the format will differ from program to program, but as a rule of thumb, if you want to export a video clip with a transparent background, you always need to look for the export alpha channel option or a color profile where it's written alpha as well. If you don't have that set up, your transparent background will turn into a plain black one, which of course can be taken out with masks and effects, but it's just best if you just set up the exporting options properly in the first place. Okay, so basically that's it for exporting a transparent background. There isn't anything complicated about it, just have to pay attention to the details. So a screener version of your film is what you show your friends, send to festivals or to producers. It's usually a good quality export of your film with a manageable file size. It's basically how you would export a YouTube video as well. So let's see the settings. Conveniently, <laughs> when it comes to exporting videos for social media, YouTube or Vimeo, most editing software have presets. So in DaVinci, for example, I can just click on the YouTube preset here, select my resolution and then c'est la vie, all the settings will be optimized for YouTube. You can set up these same settings manually as well with a bit more room to customize them if needed, but they're basically going to be the same. Now, there are many formats with different compression rates, optimized file sizes and so on, but we really won't need those. In general, I think MP4 or MOV H.264 is good for any screener or YouTube video. They're the most convenient ones because they will be recognized and played by any device, especially MP4 H.264. And being supported by everything is important because then you won't accidentally send a video file, which then the recipient won't be able to open, like I did recently with a casting tape. So, it's a very stupid way to maybe even lose opportunities. Now, <laughs> if you find yourself in a situation where you need a smaller version of your existing high quality file, but you don't have the chance to export it again, using a compressor can help. Also in the Uniconverter, with the compressor tool, you can compress the video files without losing quality. So you can take a larger video file and compress it and export it into the easy to use MP4 H.264 format. On the other hand, when you need to export in the highest quality possible, regardless of the file size or if the recipient can open it or not, usually the best practice is exporting the final video in the same exact format the original files had. Obviously, if it's originally MP4 H.264, there will be no difference, but if you had recorded an MOV ProRes 422HQ, which is though a compressed format, in reality it for sure doesn't look like one, the highest quality export should be in ProRes 422HQ. QuickTime ProRes, however, is kind of specific to Mac computers, so on PC, I don't think that you can export ProRes files, but MXF, DN, X, HR, or HD is basically the same. But the thing is that on a professional level, the client will always give you output format requirements. And same with festivals, because nobody really likes messing around with files that are like 50 gigabytes a piece, plus they all want to be able to play it. There are so many file formats that I, I can't possibly list all of them. I just shared with you the most common ones or the ones that I use or the ones that I think that you should use because they're versatile. 
in general. But to sum up the video, if you want to export a video with a transparent background, you need to export the alpha channel as well. The most widely supported video file format is MP4H264, and when it comes to high quality exports, the closer you get to the uncompressed format, the higher the quality will be, as well as the size, which you can make smaller by fine tuning your settings. That, however, will be based on your original footage. Anyhow, QuickTime ProRes can always be a good option on Mac devices or MXF DNX HR on Windows computers. Okay, that's all for now. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, throw them in the comment section. I'll try to answer to you and leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great one, guys.